The Port of Los Angeles has long been a focal point in maritime modernization. It's the first port in the world to plug a container vessel into shoreside power to reduce emissions at birth. The port is also home to the world's first hybrid electric tugboat. And now, the port is proud to harbor another maritime innovation. This time, a state-of-the-art vessel uniquely designed to meet the needs of shippers moving cargo to and from the Aloha State. Meet Pesha Hawaii's Marjorie C. Known in the maritime industry as a Conroe vessel, she can easily ship containers as well as wheeled cargo such as automobiles, trucks, and railroad cars. Bulkier items like helicopters and tanks can also be transported. This dual-purpose vessel is the only one of her kind running the route between the U.S. mainland and Hawaii, earning her the nickname the Hawaiian Hybrid. The Marjorie C has a container capacity of 1,400 and an automobile capacity of 1,200. Her oversized cargo deck has more than 100,000 square feet of space. Roll out the tape measure and you'll find she's nearly 700 feet long and 100 feet wide, weighing in at 26,000 tons. Her stern ramp allows vehicles to be driven on board directly from the terminal and then retracts and is stored on the vessel while she is underway. With two onboard cranes, she is self-sufficient and capable of loading and discharging cargo at facilities where shore cranes are not available. Now the Marjorie C is the only uh, Conro vessel here in the port. The containers are loaded uh, on, on the top deck uh, with the cranes and then the, the rolling stock, the cars, are using ramp on the back side of the vessel to get in and out. And there is also a possibility to load containers under deck. The Marjorie C was commissioned and is now operated by an equally unique family-owned maritime company, Pesha Hawaii LLC. It's uh, unique that a uh, family-owned company uh, invests uh, about $200 million in, in ship and uh, uh, venture into this, uh, this market uh, and, and that says something for uh, American entrepreneurism. She was built 100% on United States soil, which makes her a Jones Act vessel flying under the U.S. flag. Jones Act service, so that means that an American company with American built ship and American crew uh, can move cargo from one American port to another American port. She was officially launched in August 2014 and is now in her first year of service. She is young, ingenious, resourceful, environmentally friendly, and quite beautiful too. The Marjorie Sea is yet another example of the cutting edge maritime technology shippers can resource at the Port of Los Angeles. The port is proud to be this Hawaiian hybrid's mainland port of call. Aloha.